Um, I, 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 f I, for I forgot to start the stream. Uh, I, I hit record. Uh, and then I realized that I wasn't streaming. Uh, if, you, if you're watching the VOD, I just reset the recording. But there was just like 15 minutes of- uh, not 15 minutes, 15 seconds of like, dead air. Because I wasn't- I wasn't streaming. I- I didn't realize I wasn't streaming. Ah. Sorry, I'll, I'll- I'll be ready in a moment, hold on. Okay, okay. Hello. Wait, was my microphone muted before? No, it wasn't, was it? Was it? Wait. Real too. I mean, you, you you heard me before, right? That was that was the. I don't even remember. I haven't it, listen. I haven't streamed in like nearly a month. It's it's been so long that like I lost aspect ratio. Like I like I've downgraded from from sixteen by nine to four by three. And like I, I I don't know what I have to do to like get it back. Like I. It, it's just been- it's been that long that I just- I, you know, it's messed up, um, but, uh, I've- I've got- I've got a real- I've got a real, uh, penis of a stream t uh, t t today, um, I need to change the stream title because it's not just Atari Anthology, it's like Atari Anthology plus the other old shit. You know, that, that, that sort of, oh wait, no, that doesn't fit. See, this is the problem with not having the same aspect ratio. Plus others? Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, I have my, I have my PS2 set up. I don't know if you can see. You can see. Oh, the chat. Wait, okay. Uh, this... What, what is this? Jets or radio music? Ew. Ew. I don't know why I'm saying ew. Um, I don't know. This doesn't really fit the the the. I'm gonna fade that out because that doesn't that doesn't fit what I'm going for right now. Wrong, wrong, wrong time period. Um, I mean, I have my okay. I have my PS2, my my totally real PS2 setup. Let me just make that a little bit. Um, this is all that I have access to. As a, as a streamer in the 4x3 zone. Uh... Oh, wait. Uh... What the hell is that? That was my controller. Sorry, I don't know if you could hear that. There was like a scratching on a surface next to me. Uh... And it's, it's my controller wire. Um... Yeah, uh... Yeah, this is, this is all that I've got. Uh... But, thankfully, we don't just have to play PS2 games. I would like to play PS2 games- oh my god! I would like to play PS2 games, but instead all we have is, uh... Uh, wait, let me- let me see here, uh... Uh, uh is this? Wait, what is this? What, what is that? It's loading. Oh. What is this? I've just got like... I don't know. I, I you know, I, I, I kind of just want to play Kingdom Hearts 2 in the void uh, eternally. But I just spent like three entire months of my life to- Whoa! That's loud! What is that? What is this? Whoa! I'm pretending like I don't know what it is, even though I, I planned this out already. Why is it so loud? It's down at like... Like literally like 5% and it's loud. Data is being loaded from... yeah, blah blah blah. Whatever. Okay, wait. Uh... 5? Is that... wait. Okay, I think 10 is good. I don't know why it's so loud. Press start button. So, we've got video games. Uh, this, this is a bunch of games. Uh, 
So they got they got arcade originals. They have a there's a different text that just showed up. What was that? What is that? What? Um, adventure games, action games, arcade at home, sports games, mind games, racing games, space games, and casino games. And then there's bonus. Wait, what is bonus? Oh, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Owner's Manual. This is the best quality they could get. Uh, eesh. Oh my god. It's so, it's so crunchy. Uh, you have to assemble the console. Wait. That's not assembling the console, that's just plugging it in. Uh. Parts list. Why is this in here? Oh, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell, considered by many to be the father of the video game. Shut up! Okay, well, no. Pong was a runaway success, but it didn't make as much money as it could have. Hear how people know. Oh wait, these are videos. This is this is John video games. He's just looking around a bunch. Hmm. Ooh. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Oh, wait. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Mmm. E. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, what is this? A flying high. Huh? This graphic was used on a promotional folder given out by Atari at trade shows and the like. Um, hello. Hi. Uh, another promotional folder. Promotional decals for the Atari home computer versions of- what? Okay. Why? Atari's cat box? I don't see any cats in there. What the hell? Oh. Computer assisted trouble- <laughs> It's not- it's not the same thing. This text is crazy. Oh my god. Sorry, why am I looking at this? I'm here to play games. I want to play games. Arcade originals. What have they got? What have, what have they got? What, is they, what, is, what have they got? Uh... They have... Asteroids. Um... Yeah, wait, what? Why is it... Tricky mode. Double speed. Time warp. Time challenge. What see? Why is this like spore? This this looks like spore. It's I mean it's like a galaxy, like a solar system. Why is it why is it like this? Why is it laid out like this? Oh, what one p start, two p start, or okay. Ah. What do I? What? Oh, you use the analog sticks. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Um. 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 The Atari 2600 is the video game console for the Space Age. Is that what it said? Oh no. Why was it making that noise? What what is that? Like it's like Space Invaders, but Space Invaders like has a reason for it. This is just random beeping. Oh. I think this is after Space Invaders. It says 1979 at the bottom, right? That's just the implication in having space themed menus. Oh, right. Oh, I did it. 
So they just stole the beeping thing from from like it's like an indicator of how much you have left, but you just stole it from Space Invaders. This is this is video games. So um I don't know, I, I didn't think about this until like I started the stream, but uh I've heard that, like, the video game industry, like, at the moment, is kind of going through a crash of its own. Like, based on all the stuff that's been going on, uh, there's been a lot of, like, video game news recently, and a lot of it has been kind of bleak. Um, and some people have straight up said that we're experiencing a video game crash right now. Um, which is, you know, I didn't think about it. I kind of just had, like, a sudden urge to- oh, okay. I just had a sudden urge to, um, to play- to play this, like, old, old garbage. But, um, why is it- hello? Oh. Um. I had a sudden urge to play this- this old trash. Um... But it, it kind of, like, we're sort of experiencing, like, a similar thing, because, like, I think the reason for the video game crash, like, the- the- the 19- the specifically the 1980s American video game crash, right? Um, there was a whole thing about like, oh, like, it's E.T. Like, E.T. caused it. Um, which isn't really true, because that's not how it works, but, um... I think it was more to do with, like... From what I remember, at least, it was like, they, they put way too much money into Atari. Uh, because they were owned by Warner at the time, and, um... I think there was something about how, like... They... I don't know, they, they, um... They, like, invested in Atari as, like, the future of computing, and the future of entertainment, and the future of, like, a bunch of different things. And it kind of, like, failed to meet that expectation. So they started, like, liquidating the company, essentially, and, like, selling it off. Uh, I don't really remember... I don't really know when... Wait, I'm controlling... Oh. Oh, I'm controlling the one, the, the, the one on the right. Okay. Um. Oh. But, um, it's kind of like history repeating itself, but for different, like, reasons than everyone likes to say. Because for some reason there's this mindset of, uh, of like, people blaming the games. Where it's like, oh, E.T. caused the crash, and like, all the games that are coming out now, it's like, but like, oh, they're not that good. Therefore, they are the problem. Um, but it really seems like a lot of it is due to, like, how these companies are being managed. And I don't think that's really, like, that much of a hot take. Like, I'm pretty sure that's just what it is. And it's like, exactly what happened with Atari, pretty much. Oh my god. I didn't realize there was a limit. This is so, like... I'm wondering if you got more precision... Pre precision? I'm wondering if you got more precision from the, um... the actual, like, original controls, because this feels very... I don't know. Feels very, um, finicky. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, I'm literally playing Pong right now. Don't worry, it, it gets more interesting than this, I think. I, th I think. I'm pretty sure there's... I think there's a moment where it picks up the pace. Like, 
Pong, pong, pong gets good after the first 20 hours, okay? I swear. It's like the Persona 5 of his time. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Okay, wait, ooh, ooh. This game does have an amazing narrative. It's very simple. Clear, clear commu- clear, clear, clear communication. Of, of... A deep and rich narrative. Involving a war between two nations. <laughs> the original dragon guard. Um. Ooh. Oh no. This is this is a uh, yeah. This is Death Stranding if it was made in the nineteen seventies. This is double speed. I want to actually check out what is trippy mode. I want to know what trippy mode is. Oh, that's trippy mode. Okay. It's just like a trail. It's 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 just like a big trail that makes everything harder to see. To touch to she makes everything harder to she. I mean, it's kind of cool, but like a pong, but gay. It's just like now I can't see like where my paddle is. Like, if I move it, it's like, it's, it stays solid for too long. Oh no. Whoa. They must have been on drugs when they made this game. They must- whoa, what were they smoking? Haha. <laughs> wow. Ooh. They must have been high on that- that pong kush, if you- if you know what I am saying. But the numbers too- th this is just like a filter? Like it's not even like... Ugh. I'm annoyed that I'm not really doing much worse than before though. Oh. Nope. Okay. Well, alright. This is like- I don't know- oh my god. This game is like a diarrhea dumpy fart. Full of ass. This game is like if if um if if um if a buffalo took a took a diarrhea dump in my ear. That's what it feels like. Ooh. Oh no. Oh what? Huh? What was that? Did you see that? What was that? Oh wait, you didn't see that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, my face cam is covering what just happened. It, it, it like went around the corner. Like, of the corner of the screen. Like, I lost anyway. I, I don't know, I don't know what happened. It's just like ricocheted off the wall. Like, I lost regardless. Oh wait, it's doing the- okay, it's doing it now. Or it just- it just did it. Okay, I- I thought it was like some sort of bug because like it hit the corner that it wasn't like meant to hit. Or like it hit the side, but I don't even know. DVD saver pong. What is wait time? What does time warp mean? What does this mean? What? The the, the noise is different. Huh? Sounds are different. What? Oh. Yeah, the speed changes randomly, but also the sounds are different for some reason. Uh. Okay. Oh, alright. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's kind of like I'm moving it through butter. 
games really have come a long way. <laughs> Uh, adjust screen. Oh, zoom in. Oh, oh, that, that actually, that's quite nice. That helps a lot. Uh, do you want to, do you want to be able to see the other world? I don't know. It's fine. I'm a quarter. I don't know. It's fine. It's very clearly designed to be, like, difficult so that, um, you replay it a bunch. Which is just kind of weird. Um, what is Red Baron? Like, I've, I've heard of most of these, I think. I haven't heard of Red Baron. What? Oh, wait. Um, One Piece Wait, adjust screen. Zoom in. Uh. 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 Wait. Okay. Resume game. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. What? Am I shooting? Is that shooting? What the hell am I looking at? What? Hello? Oh wait. Yeah. There's there's an analog stick. I was using the D-pad. Um. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, you. Why does it look like that? I can't see what the text at the bottom says. What am I looking at? Oh! Um... Chat, is this better or worse than Pong, do you think? This is like this. This doesn't seem like it's a. I don't know. Do, do I, what, what? What? What is this? What am I actually like visually looking at? It's just a bunch of triangles. Did I get hit just now? Why does it say value? What is value? What value? You're meant to define what the value is, you don't just say value. But now the value is gone? What? Huh? I should try trippy mode? That's a good idea, actually. Uh... Trippy mode. Oh, Were they on drug? Ooh, I really feel like I'm on drug right now. Oh, oh wow, wow, wow. Hee hee hee. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, baby. Ooh. I am feeling the. 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 the, the paracetamol. Mmm, yes. The ibuprofen. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, 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 okay, oh, there, oh, oh, there I go, oh, jeez. This looks like a music visualizer, it looks like I'm, like, it looks like I've, uh, I've, I've <laughs> it looks like a Windows Media Player. Oh my god. Ow, behind me. Oh. You pharmacy science. Uh... Oh, oh god. Oh, ah. This is unplayable. Why is this a thing? Beyond just being like a cute novelty, like it doesn't... It, all it does is just make the game like impossible <laughs> to read. Um, okay. I, I actually like Centipede. So I'm gonna check this out a little bit. Uh, I mean Centipede is just like... Like Space Invaders. But uh, as far as as far as I understand, it's like boot like Space Invaders for women. Like there was a whole thing with like, like this was marketed towards women, which doesn't really make any sense because like, I don't know. Like, I mean, 
cool, like, good, but, like, I don't know why, why, like, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, how to articulate what I mean, like, video games, like, aren't strictly made for men, so I don't know what about this, this game was so, like, Like oh yeah, this this is the one that's that's gonna get that's that's gonna get the girlies. Um, but like I think like Pac-Man was also like huge for that. I'm not really sure. But it's it's just weird because like they they um I don't know. Cause like I I don't I don't remember the reasoning behind it. Um, I think it was just something about how like a bunch of games were like marketed as like space games, so they were, they were all about space, which like I guess they thought was like manly or like the, the branding would be kind of like cold and like masculine. But, but even then, like I don't know, like it's a strange thing to consider because games have always kind of been like. For, for as wide of an audience as possible to enjoy. There's also the female Pac-Man that- I don't know if they actually, like, strictly- why did I- oh no, I, I opened it on, on trippy mode, I didn't realize. Oh god. Oh no. Um... But, um, I don't- I don't know if Miss Pac-Man was actually, like, strictly marketed towards women. Cause I think the whole deal with that game is that it was just a harder Pac-Man. But, as far as I know, like, it, it, it appealed to women anyway. I don't know. There's also, like, a whole, like, rabbit hole regarding Miss Pac-Man that I think is really funny. Um... Like, there's, there's, there's a video or two about the history of, like, the Miss Pac-Man IP. Because Miss Pac-Man is, like, its own IP separate from Pac-Man. And so Namco doesn't actually have the rights to use Miss Pac-Man in, like, any of their new games. Um, it's really strange. Oh my god. I mean, it's it's kind of funny, but I just I don't. I just... Whoa. Um. How about we play the uh, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred version of Centipede instead? Where is this? Uh, casino games, space games. Wait. Arcade at home. David Foster Wallace. Wait, who is that? Uh. Oh yeah, they have it. They have. Uh, Millipede, they have Missile Command, they have Video Pinball. Um, they all do Centipede. Centipede! Centipenis! Can you do trippy mode on- oh god, you can do trippy mode on Atari games as well. Atari 2600 games. From what I remember, this version is easier- oh! Okay, I don't know. Oh god, wait. TV mode. Color. Children's version. Um. Okay. How do I start the game? This is just the manual. Um, why did it make a gunshot noise? What was that? Wait, you just press start. Okay. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, this, this is, this is real right here. This is, this is video games. Oh. This is, this is, um, squares. I 
I, I don't, I, like, I don't even know what to say about the Atari, the, the Atari 2600 without being mean. Cause like, obviously this is like all they could do at the time, but like, man... I don't know... I honestly just want to play Space Invaders now. What was that? Has anyone in the chat seen, uh, Pixels, starring Adam Sandler? I think, I, I remember there was a scene where, like, they did Centipede, but in real life. Because they couldn't get the rights to Space Invaders. Pres presumably. I don't know, I don't know if that, that's actually the reason, but I feel like it would've made more sense if it was Space Invaders. Um, it was awful. I don't remember a single thing about that movie, except for the fact that, uh, Kevin James, uh, 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 uh Paul, Paul Blart Molecop, the guy that plays Paul Blart Molecop, is the president in that movie. Which is just kind of insane. Especially considering that, like, it was still Obama at the time, right? So, like, Kevin James, like, Paul Blart Molecop plays Obama. O Obama, Obama Molecop. PS2? This isn't the PS2, this is the Atari. Hmm. You know... I wonder if... I wonder if, um... I wonder if Microsoft is looking at this right now, being, being like, Oh, how can, how can we add, uh, advertisements to this? Are we talking about pixels? Let's not talk about oh, pixels. Uh, do you want to see the trippy mode of, of... Wait, oh yeah, do you want to see the trippy mode of this? Wait, this is locked? Why is it locked? Why is trippy mode locked? How do I unlock it? Um... Oh god. Okay. Um... Because I'm not playing the trippy mode of Centipede on Atari 2600. Um, speaking of the Atari 2600, though, let's let's uh, uh what, what games are on here? Even space games. Pixels is actually the sequel to Click. You know this because Adam Sandler is your uncle. Um. Well, listen here, Bucko. Uh. There's a reason why they didn't call it Click 2 Clicksels. I'm not high enough for trippy mode, damn it. Um, okay, well, Space War, Quad Run, Star Raiders, Starship, Stellar Track, Yars Re Oh, I know, I know, I know Yars Revenge. I've heard of Yars Revenge. I think. Yeah. You ready? You 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 ready? You ready for for Yars Yars Revenge? Look at look at look at this shit. Oh. Wait. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. You looking at this? I find this the like this game really really funny because there's like a cinematic. Like a commercial that they made, and like it's it's archived on like thirty five milli millimeter film or whatever. Like it like it had a theatrical commercial, and it's it the game looks like this, right? And it's it's just like what like what even, you know. I'm just wondering like. What what the 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 perspective was at the time of like what the hell is that? What am I looking at right now? 
4209. Oh. Yes. Um. But it's, it's like one bullet that I keep just going into. Okay, game reset. Start. Start. Okay. So I'm, I'm like blowing it up, right? I, look at this. I'm, I'm blowing it up. I'm not blowing it up anymore. Nothing's happening. And now I'm in here. What, like, what? Th did they think it was impressive because, like, this, this field of, like, static is, is interesting to look at? Like, what? <laughs> The colorful, the colorful bar on the left side of the screen is actually the game's source code. This? I don't, like, I just... Like... What was that? Whoa, 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 what was that? And, like, something I remember about the commercial as well is that it's, like, a guy imagining the game. Like, in his head, like, he's, like, picturing the game. He he's being like, wow. Like, the wonders of imagination. And he's just picturing this. There's a diagonal sprite, I just realized that. There's a diagonal sprite that's kind of trying too hard. I, I... it's weird. It's weird. It's strange. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like any of this. The, the, the space games are kind of like... I don't know, Quadron? Space War? Like, this is such a generic name for a game. Like, Space War. So I just want to look at these, but like, oh, game reset. Oh, yeah. This is the game. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh! Look at me go! Ooh! Wow! Oh, you have to press up, and then I guess this is multiplayer. Maybe it was just impressive that times see pixels move around. I mean, yeah, I guess. But it's like, it's like, it's kind of just crazy to consider. Because, like, we already had arcade games as, like, the precedent for, like, what video game visuals looked like before any of this. Like, a lot of these games are just based on arcade games. So, but, but this, this game is, it's just, it's just a multiplayer thing. Um... It's just like, I don't know, like, people already knew what to, like, kind of expect from game visuals, I guess. So, the fact that, like, you had these games with just these, like, vague, like, impressionist visuals. I, d I don't know. I just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really strange thing. Um. Why does the game keep, like, stuttering? You know, saying that. Um. Okay, wait. Action games. Let's see what action games they have. Uh oh. Air sea battle. Canyon bomber. Circus Atari. What? Why is it called Circus Atari? Is this the digital eclipse one? I... Maybe. It's not Atari Fifty. I know that Digital Eclipse developed some Atari collections, but I don't know. This is the one on PS2. This is Atari Anthology on PS2. Breakout Circus? Oh, this game! Oh, this game. I think this is in um, a YMO music video, which is what I know it from, like visually. I think there's an arcade version, which is what they use. Or maybe it's just like a common game concept 
but Atari have like copied. I don't even know. I have no idea. This is actually like this is pretty good. This is a pretty good idea. Freaking right here. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh. But like, okay, it says it's... Well, it said somewhere that it's called Breakout Circus, but then the menu called it Circus Atari. So like, why, why is there... Oh. Why is there, like, confusion there? Cannot aim. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, it's breakout circus, but then if you if you like exit out of it. It says Circus Atari. Which is kinda of just strange. Isn't this a rhythm having game? Uh yes. Like, okay, speaking of breakout though. The switch from 2600 to Ness. To NES was the same that you felt with Wii U to PS4. You felt that way about the Wii U to the PS4? It, at the time, I genuinely thought they were like as powerful as each other. I, I didn't even know the difference. What? That's that's like any like Atari to NES is a far more drastic. Advancement, I think. Um, where is it? Super breakout. Is there also just regular breakout? There is not just regular breakout, but there is super breakout. I want to play breakout. I guess early NES games. I, I, well, yeah. But even then, like, I don't know. There, there is definitely like a noticeable leap. Um, whereas, like, Wii U to PS4 is kind of similar hardware anyway. Especially, like, when the PS4 was new, a lot of the games would have been, like, very similar. In terms of, like, capabilities. Yeah, yeah, I do know that about the NES. Um, there's games with like audio. Oh my god. There's games with like audio chips. Uh, that what is going on here? Oh, like some Famicom games have like advanced audio, and it's really cool. And like yeah, visuals too. But I'm I'm saying like particularly with the audio is when it's noticeable. Um. So it's like, whoa. Like they, they really like went in and just added stuff. Oh. Okay. The paddle in this is really small. Um Maybe the uh the console oh god. Maybe the console version <laughs> sticky keys. <laughs> Uh, it's not like the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I, I do understand this about, about, um, the NES, specifically, like, that they made enhancements to, like, what they could do with games over time. But like, I just, I still think that like, even the early NES games are a huge step up from what was... Because I mean, well, they, they did the same thing on Atari, where like a lot of games, like... I'm pretty sure there were a lot of games that sort of like pushed the limits of what the hardware could do by doing the same thing that people were doing with the NES. Yeah. And like, even then, it is kind of a massive leap, just in terms of like, graphical fidelity. Um, where would, where would Breakout be in? Arcade at home? Oh yeah. 
I want to I wanna play this. Yeah, that's me. I'm I'm really smudged up. Hello. I am streaming. Yeah, there is also a whole generation. Uh one of one of the consoles from that generation I might be going to in this stream. Oh no. Oh no. Am I actually speaking of that? Um I just need to set something up. I'm just, I'm just clicking. Okay. It's like that one Google Easter egg. What the Pac-Man one? This isn't Pac-Man. This is this is Breakout. What? Okay. What you sent? Earlier you sent that chat message as I missed another one. So that doesn't count. That doesn't count, okay? That doesn't- that doesn't count. It doesn't- it doesn't count, it's just a practice round. Um, it's, just, it's just a practice round. It's just a practice round. I could- okay, I could not move at that time. I- I don't know what happened. I- I- I just like froze up. I wasn't- I- I- I, I swear to god. I- froze. I froze up. It, it the, the controller, like, wasn't accepting my input. I don't suck at video games, okay? Alright, listen, this is just old. It's for old people. What the hell was that? It's for old people, and old people are all better at games, as, as we know. This is, this is just like, I don't know, this is the, the like, 1983 version of, of, uh, Fortnite. I don't even know if this came out. I don't, I don't know when this came out. 1978 version of Fortnite. This is Fortnite if it was uh, old. Can you start smiling friends from episode 2? Well, I, I think so. I don't know what's stopping you. Do you mean episode 2 of, like, the new season, or just episode 2 in general? Why do you need to watch episode 2? You don't want to watch episode 1? With the... with the... the Gwimbly? I mean, yeah, like, it's episodic. You can... you can watch it in any order. This is better than... <laughs> this is better than insert game from this year! This- this is- this is better than- than, uh... <laughs> this is- this is- this is better than the- 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 than those- those shitty Call of Duty games that my mom doesn't let me play. Um... Fortnite. <laughs> Leo, why are you making me say this? <laughs> yeah, this is way better than GCA. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do this. I wonder if I even can do this. This is... Oh, this is kind of formidable. You know, big, big word of the day. It's formidable. They designed this so that you would just sit here playing it for like a million years. Oh no, I just remembered something really horrible. Oh no. I just remembered something really horrible. Has anyone watched, um, Ready Player One? Wasn't that movie, like, horrible? Was it- wasn't that, like, what- like, it, worse than Pixels? I would say, oh shit. Worse than Pixels. Cause like, at least Pixels, like, you know, like, it was just like, it was about a bunch of old guys, and like, they knew that they were old, and they just made a movie about being old. But Ready Player One was like, in the future, everyone's gonna think this is cool. And it's like, oh. Oh, 
Uh, oh god. Gamer loves it. Ga oh no. Uh. Uh, for those unaware, Gamer is, uh, Leo's friend named Gamer. You saw a poem by the author of the book about porn, and it made you con- it made you reconsider letting men live. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. I didn't know he wrote other things. He- he shouldn't be allowed to do that. Mario invented porn. How can someone just be named gamer? It's, it's a username. Or, or, or it's a long story, I think it's a username. See, I'm getting better at this. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Um, I like how it simulates, like, the-, the oh, jeez. It simulate- oh, okay. It simulates the color changing. Oh god. Oh no. Because, like, I'm pretty sure the, the color changing... You wonder if anyone has genuinely tried to name their child Gamer. I feel like Gamer has to be, like, a surname somewhere. Like, there must be someone with the surname Gamer. Because it sounds like a surname. I mean, like, statistically, like, there's a name for everything. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a Genshin character named Gaming. There are 400, what do you mean 413? Oh. Oh, that's, that's one too many. Or, or uh, uh, seven too few, if you know what I am saying, haha, <laughs> weed. Um, Gamer is the 50,000th most popular surname in the United States. The fact that there's more beneath it is kind of scary. Oh no. Damn it. I'm not good at this. I'm really not good at this. They need to make this easier. They need to add a battle pass. Um. They should add microtransactions. <laughs> so that I get to, so that I get to, 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 to have the, um, Star Wars, uh, paddle. The Star Wars branded ball and everything. Gamer as a surname sounds like something Elon Musk would name their kid as a joke. Yeah, as yeah, as a, yeah, as a, as, a, as a joke. Yeah, yeah, as, yeah, yeah, as, as yeah. Let's not talk about that. Um, Hungrybox has a child. I don't know who Hungrybox is, but they named them John Melee. Is that is that as in like Super Smash Brothers Melee? That's really depressing if that's true. Oh, I was kind of like setting up a rhythm there, and then I broke it. Theoretically, what do you mean theoretically? You'd love to be called John Melee? Why? Oh no. Fuck. Are you assuming that it's like. The, the paddle is wider than it is? Oh no! Oh my. Oh! Saved it! Oh! Oh! Imagine putting in your CV to a place and it's between John Smith and John Melee. 
Well, I mean, John Melee, but like... You could have a more interesting name. Like, I don't know, like, having to choose between, like, John, John Smith and Guy Fieri. Like, of course I would choose Guy Fieri. Depends where I am, though, I mean, you know. Oh god! Oh, it gets faster! When it's up there. Oh no. It's kind of embarrassing that I didn't know that about Breakout, but like... I really didn't know that about Breakout. Ah! It just makes it so difficult. Okay. Quick game. Yeah. Trippy mode? Is still locked? Um, you wanna know what the Pong world record is? It, it, doesn't it cap at 12? Or, or do, do you mean, like, timing-wise? I guess, yeah. Oh wait, the super breakout. Ooh. Oh jeez, I'm really sorry about that. Um... Pong must have an intense competitive scene. I mean, I know real life Pong does. Which is just, you know, table tennis. Um, I'm sorry. We're we're not getting out of this 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 breakout zone. This is, I'm I'm actually like really infatuated with this. Um. You know, I had a copy of Atari 50, and then I, like, sold it because I decided that, like, I, I could just play these games on other platforms. But now I, like, kind of miss that I don't- or I, I, I kind of miss having the ability to, um, play this stuff on my Switch. Uh, like, I don't know, D Digital Eclipse is doing, like, good work. Uh, and I'm kind of hesitant because they're owned by Atari now. Like, I think after making Atari 50, they were bought out by Atari. Because it was, like, the most successful thing that Atari has published in, like, a million years. Um, I believe. No! Oh god! I just remembered! No! I, I remember why I sold Atari 50, never mind. It's because the goddamn... Oh, okay, I don't know if anyone's, like, played through Atari 50 here, but, like, the ending of Atari 50, like, when you go through, like, all the documentary stuff, the ending is, like, one of the worst things that I've seen, like, ever in anything. Because the whole time, they're just saying how good Ready Player One is, and like they get the author of Ready Player One to be like, "Yeah, I made, I made Ready Player One. I really like Atari games," and, and like it's just like, "Yeah, we made Ready Player One on the Atari," and it's like, "Why?" And like they end it like that. It's like that's like the final note that they that they go off on. It's like, "Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Ready Player One? Oh, that movie was really good." And it's like, "Huh." I don't actually remember what they say about it, but just, like, I, I just remember, like, leaving a really bad taste in my mouth. Um, that said, though, I do want to get the Llama Soft thing. It does seem really interesting. Um, the Karataka thing as well. It's a karate Karataka, I, I, I pronounce it Karataka. Is it, like, Karateka? Karataka? Atari's whole Atari blockchain thing died. Well, yeah. I mean, I, pretty much like that whole thing. It's just been replaced with AI now. Like it's 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 gone from being uh the blockchain to being AI. 
so you know, I mean, you can't you can't spell Atari without AI or whatever. You pronounce the first way that I did. Or, oh, karat karatica. I kind of want to play that now. I haven't played it before. I, I, well, I should probably get the the collection, the digital eclipse collection thing, anthology, museum, do documentary, game umentary, whatever it is. Mr. Klein owns my soul now. So what is? Oh yeah, he has named that as Neil. God. Mr. Klein. <laughs> um, I imagine it's pretty. I, I, I mean, Atari Fifty was really impressive. Like the ending was so sour, but uh, the whole like commitment to presenting it in the way that they did uh was really like. It was like genuinely really informative, and uh, you know, I remember a lot of the stuff that they went over. Uh, which is why I know like specific things, like how uh, the fact that Atari went under isn't because of one singular game failing; it was because of the goddamn like mismanagement from from Warner uh, or whoever, whoever the hell. I mean, it was a variety of factors, but, like, it, it was pretty much just the fact that, like, they didn't know what to do with them after a certain point. Um, it's just very, like, like, I really don't want history to repeat itself. Again, E.T. wasn't a flop. Like, the fact that people remember it in the first place means that, like, at least, you know, like, people, it, like, blame it because they played it, right? So, like, they would have owned it, they would have had the game. Um, what is mind games? What would be in mind games? Um, back at Gammon. Hangman. Oh god, this is, this is horrible. Math Grand Prix? Hangman? Fun with numbers. Ugh. Uh, when you were tiny, you got so confused why people hated the EC video game because the only one you owned was the PS1 ET interplanetary mission game. I don't even know they made other ET games. Imagine making another ET game. Um. What is it? Racing games. Do they have pole position? Do you think? Night driver, slot racers, sprint master, steeple chase. What the fuck is steeple chase? Such a silly name. The Atari Twenty Six Hundred sold better in the UK. I didn't. I, I don't. I don't even consider the fact that it released in the UK. Like I kind of just. I don't think I've ever heard anything from- oh, it's a horse thing. I don't think I've ever heard anything from, like, anyone in the UK who had an Atari. But I guess it was a thing here. Yeah, it wouldn't- it wouldn't have gotten close to the microcomputers, but, like, it's just not even something, like, It's not something that you tend to hear about. Because it's such an American thing. I wonder if it released in Japan at all, because I'm pretty sure, like, Japan just did their own thing. But I have no idea. Uh... For anyone watching this, I'm I'm the bottom one, by the way. The the, the yellow one. It didn't. Okay. Uh, but they had the um, the 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 epoch video cassette. Or whatever. The 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 the, the thing with like the weird vertical pixels, not well, not vertical diagonal pixels. The VIC-20 was popular in Japan. And this sucks. Why am I playing this? 
a lot of these games are just like, man, like, this is, this is not that good. Um, I got a lot of ZX Spectrum and ColecoVision games. Oh, oh, right. That makes sense. Um, okay, well, I've had about enough of Atari. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't actually, uh, hold on a second. Oh wait, I have to wait for this to... I have to wait for my disc to, um... Uh... Exist. Um, is it just Atari published games? As far as I know, yeah. But there, there are other... <clears throat> games... That I'm waiting for my disc to exist for. The, the disc is materializing, it's it's fading into view. Um... What's... uh... Why is this taking so long? Oh my god. Um... <clears throat> um, 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 um... Uh, ignore that noise, that was just the, the disc. Um... One second. Uh... Whoop. Uh, swap disk. I mean, um. Oh wait, I need to. I need to reset my console. Hold on. Reset. Okay. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh my god. Do you think it's gonna be more Atari games, or do you think it's gonna be something else, or do you think it's gonna be both? Could it? Could it be both? It might be both. Who knows? Wall U for PS2? No, it's Activision Anthology. Perhaps it's even click on DVD, Christ. Oh my god, look at the look at these guys. Wow. I want to make some sort of joke about Activision, but I don't know what I can say without being, like, depressing. Uh... What is this? Oh god, what is this? Does this include Portal, a computer novel? As... as far as I know, this is just... Uh... Atari games? I could be wrong. Um... Believe I, I don't know. Atari is a registered trademark of Infograms. Oh, how the tables turn! Oh God, what is this music? What am I listening to? Hello? What? What? What, what is this music? Hello? Is this DMCA? What, what am I listening to right now? Huh? What? Um, 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 um. I saw he commando. I, I don't. What, what is this music? After Atari fucked it, Activision had a really interesting little arts game, art games era on the home micros. I don't doubt that. That makes a lot of sense. What is this music? What? Oh, 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 the D-pad. Okay. Two of those, yeah. Okay. What do you mean classic? What? Yeah, it's gonna be classic. Why is the music still playing? Why is the music still playing? Yes. What is this music? <laughs> Okay. What is that? Oh, good night. I, I don't. What is this video game? It's Activision Anthology. There's like music, like random music playing in the background. 
And it's just like, ah, like, ah, like, okay. I just want to play the game. Look at this. Wow. Oh, this already looks better than, um, than the, uh, the other, the other thing. Oh. Oh, jeez. The noise for the slider is funny. I already forgot what the noise is. Okay. So this is like... I guess they played Donkey Kong and they were just like, Oh. Oh. That's, that's pretty funny right there. Um. That rope is really smooth looking. It's really weird that like... The... The Atari 2600 like had... Um, oh god, what? I can't get off. What? Oh, oh, you press down. The Atari, like, has really basic graphics, but it has the capability to be, like, really smooth sometimes. Like, with this rope. This, like, full 60 FPS rope or whatever. Do you think there were tech bros when this came out who are the same as tech bros for, like, Red Dead now? Do tech bros, like, gush over Red Dead? Redemption? It's even the music from Donkey Kong. I think. Do I just have to reset it now? What? I mean, these graphics are realistic, though. Just, um... Yes. What? Yes. I have to re reset it? Or what? Hello? Uh... Whoa. The chat just reset for me. I don't know why. Some tech bros... You saw some tech bros talk about how the horse balls are rendered and detailed well on a YouTube shorts. On a, on, a, on a YouTube short. And the horse poop. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Um, I wonder if tech bros uh, gush over the... I'm not even gonna... I don't know if you're gonna finish that. I don't think it's... Is it tech bros that... Like, I, I guess they technically are tech bros, right? If, if they're saying, like, how good a game looks. I know that the people who... Are really into cyberpunk or tech bros. Like that for sure is the case. Oh, but the... trying to get the timing. Okay, wait. Open. Close. Right. Oh. So you have to like. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 wait, wait. If you die, you just have to reset it, like, by doing this, by going back out, and then, and then doing that. Very silly. Um... I mean, I don't know, I mean... I mean, this, this game has ray tracing. Kinda. I'm sure this guy's named Ray. Probably. Oh fuck, what? I can't get the timing on this, right? It's like... Okay, go. Go. Go, no. I remember playing Haunted House on Atari and being confused as to why you couldn't move. Turns out you had to turn the game on and then reset it in order to start. It's very, very silly. This is, like, not good. Why is- why is this game so famous? It's, like, not really even... Like, what? Is it just really impressive at the time? Do you think that people who like retro games in 16x9 will be playing current day games in 21x9 if that became a standard? You say that, but there are literally already widescreen aspect ratios. Yes. 
People are doing that right now. It is? Oh my god, what? It does seem like it... It does seem like it's probably really complicated. Um... Because, like, like I don't know, it's really inconsistent. This makes no sense. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. This controls worse than OG hardware? Yeah, I, well, I mean... Maybe. I mean, yeah, okay, that might make sense. Sky Jinx. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, alright. Oh, oh no. What is it doing? Jinx. Hello. What? Oh, oh god, what? Hello? Oh, I had to press select. Uh, huh? You just fly. This is just a game where you fly. Video games with bad controls. It's been about 12 years now since you opted for Sonic and the Secret Rings over Bowser's Inside Story. Well, like, you had the choice between the two games and you picked Sonic and the Secret Rings. Twelve that's twenty twelve. Wasn't like the Sonic colors out by that point? And like the three DS. Is that it? What? Oh, oh geez, okay. Oh wait, I can go higher up. Oh, Your younger, your younger self thought that three shit games for £20 was better than one masterpiece for £20. Which one's the masterpiece? Bowser's inside story was the masterpiece. I mean, it's alright as far as I know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, oh! What were the other games? Is he saying three shit games? I mean, I've made, I've made regrettable, like, game decisions like that in the past, uh... Though, I don't know, I mean, one time I really, really wanted to get, uh, Fantasy Life, and I ended up getting... Oh wait, no, it wasn't Fantasy Life, it was, um... Uh... No, there, there was an Adventure Time game on the 3DS that I really wanted to get at the time. Uh, this is like, 2014, uh, and like we were in the game store, and I saw Ocarina of Time on the shelf, 
I was like, oh shit. Like, oh man, like I could get that. 2014 was 19 years ago. Um, I don't know, this is, this, whatever, what am I even playing right now? This is, this is, gar gar garbage. What even are these? What the hell is Thwalker? Why is it called Thwalker? What? Hello? Wait. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Oh, I guess that hurts me? Um. Okay, okay the music notes are just there. Exit? No, no, the exit? The exit? No, okay, alright. Um, but yeah, like, uh, so I ended up getting Ocarina of Time for the 3DS instead of, like, whatever Adventure Time game it was. Which, like, at the time I sort of regretted. But then I, like, later found out that the game that I was planning to get at that point, uh, like, wasn't very good. I don't know. I mean, it's a very simple story, but, like, that's, that's the only encounter like that that I remember. Um... And it's like, I ended up, I ended up really loving, uh, Ocarina of Time, anyway. Guys... This, this will be smudge map in 2014. Oh god. Okay, I think select is the reset button I'm learning, maybe? I, wait, oh god. It might be? I might be wrong about that. Ooh. Wait, why is there an exit here, but it's not actually the exit? It just says exit. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, ah! I don't know why I'm, like, playing this so... Like, like, I really- I just really want to see what, what- what's going on with this game, okay? I just really- I just really want to get to the end, I just really want to find out. What are these just, like, random objects? It's, like, monocles and trumpets. Music notes. And a tuxedo. Like, why is it so abstract? The essentials of life. Uh, uh, the, the essentials of my penis. Am I right, gamers? Uh oh. 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 Okay. Oh wait. I can get hit one more time. You can't even like tell like what's collectible and what isn't. Are none of these collectible? Do I just not touch anything? The essentials of life. Um. Um. A hearty ball of. Wait, wait, uh, I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? Atari invented the penis. Well, actually, Nintendo invented the Peanuts. <laughs> That's why we got pe Penis Mario. I meant to say penis, and I just I, I said Peanuts on accident. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's why we get. That's why we get Peanuts Mario. advertised to this game. Like, uh, I guess. Twelve levels of fun. Tw Twelve levels of music. Musical fun. When did it come out? 
says copyright in the bottom. When, when did this come out? I'm trying to see the copyright at the bottom. It's not, um... Oh, jeez. Nintendo invented the penis and Sony invented the balls. Um, well, if, if, you, if you get your game history right, it was actually Sega who invented the, uh, the, 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 the Segusi, um, and, um, um, they, 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 they this level is, this, this game is, is making me go crazy. Um, let me get a different thing here. Microsoft lost out, no, Microsoft bought the rights to the penis. penis. Um, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I got another, I got another thing here. I got, I got, I got another, I got another one. I got another one that's like, maybe more interesting. Um, or actually, I don't know, I, okay, there's two, there's two different ones that I'm kind of, um, one of them is like, like, maybe more refreshing, I think. And I'm I'm probably gonna go for it first because um uh blah 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 Microsoft tried to buy the penis in two thousand two but got laughed out of the room. Isn't it crazy how like Microsoft have been trying for ages to break into the Japanese market and they they've just never made it work. And that's like the one reason why they're failing as a company, probably. Among among other things. Um Oh god, wait. System reset. Okay. This is guaranteed to be a nicer experience than whatever was just going on. Oh. Uh probably. Oh. Uh. Probably. Hopefully it won't give me as much of a headache. Look at this! The Nam... Namk. Click. It's not click, okay? Why are there copyright trademarks for like every game that they made? It's Namk. <gasps> Digital Eclipse did this too? Well, that's kind of crazy. Um, does this have Pac-Man? Does, does it have Pac-Man arrangement? It has Pac-Mania, it has Galaga, it has Zavius, it has Rolling Thunder. This is loaded Mega Turrican. <laughs> no, um, what is this music? What? Uh, pole position. Oh, the, okay, they don't have Pac-Man arrangement. Is this... is this also licensed? Is this licensed music? Like, I think... Oh god, what? What is this? Help. Help. Okay. The music stops at least. What was... what was that? Um... Part of the reason PlayStation is so American now is because the money just isn't really there in Japan. Uh, yeah, I I guess so. I'm not really sure, like, I'm, I'm sure there's, like, a bunch of different reasons, but, like, it seems like historically Microsoft have been desperate to, like, break into the Japanese market. Like, from the beginning, and it's just never really worked out. Not that it's, like, necessarily, like, the biggest source of money for them, or whatever, it's just... It's something that they keep trying to do, and they haven't managed to do. And like, especially now that they uh, they shut down Tango Gameworks, which I'm pretty sure is Japanese. Oh god. Oh, I just messed up in, 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 immediately. Yeah, I don't know, Microsoft just sucks anyway. Can we all agree? Like, I have to deal with Microsoft Windows all the time. 
If you ever use Microsoft Windows, it's the, it's this new operating system. It's really lame. I'm better at Pac-Man than this. What am I doing? Windows 11 is losing market share. Yeah, like... <laughs> the only people that I know that use Windows 11 are the people that, like, bought laptops with it pre-installed and just don't really, like, care about the fact that it's Windows 11. Like, as long as they have a laptop that works, it's fine. Um... I don't know, like the same the same same type of Windows user that like doesn't change the background at all. Like they just have the default background. Um Uh ooh, wait, sorry, I'm trying to read chat, but this game's too distracting. Microsoft Bimbos. Uh Pac-Man, no, Pac-Man Arrangement is the best one. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, I want to play that Pac-Man collection now. The one that's on Switch. Oh man, I really want to play Pac-Man now. I mean, I'm playing Pac-Man right now, but I want to play more Pac-Man. Am I thinking of the same Pac-Man Arrangement? Because the PSP version is like a different... Yeah, it's a, it, it's a different game. I'm, I'm not even, like... Atari ST Pac-Man. Wait, is it actually... wait... Pac-Man on ease. What, Miss Pac-Man? Um... One second, what... Atari ST Pac-Man... I wanna hear this. OST. Pac-Mania? Wait, Crap-Man? Atari ST. This? Oh. Is that it? That's not the one. I imagine there's a bunch of different ones. Oh no. Wait. There's Crap Man. Um. Oh god. Is it Pac Mania or is it just Pac Man? Because. Pac-Mania is the only one that's coming up on YouTube. Oh, wait, it's called Pac-Man on Ease. Wait. Pac-Man on Ease. Atari ST. Oh, wait. I think this is the gameplay of it. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. This is, this is... Wait, let me let, let, let me mute the game and <laughs> just have this audio on instead. Wait, no, I don't need to mute the game. What am I doing? Wait, that was not that timing synced up. This is just. Oh, wait, 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 is this not the right one? Or, wait... Didn't Jomo listen to this? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait. The noise. Oh my god! Whoa! What, what are these noises? Holy shit. Uh oh. Why, why is Roadrunner- <laughs> Oh wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 hold on a second. This is- this is the correct one. Uh... 
Oh god, wait. Let me let me control control C. Uh Okay, this is this is the correct one. Uh Uh Oh, okay. It's the same, same, same game. Oh, Pack Baby is your favorite Pac-Man track ever. Different music once it gets to the gameplay. They should be like honestly that this like this type of music fits video games really well. There should there should just be more games that sound like this. Oh, oh my god! And this too. But holy shit! I haven't played a uh, Championship Edition 2. Ooh. Championship Edition 1 is like one of one of the best Pac-Man games that I've played. Like as far as I understand it is it is like the best one in terms of like gameplay. I don't know, I, I, I like it very I, I, I like the um the way that it that it plays. I like the way that it plays. I like the gameplay loop. The like PSP version is very neat. Oh wait! Oh, the music one. Oh, whoa! I don't know why I'm doing so badly at this. By the way, like I'm usually better at the game. That I'm that I'm being right now, um, and I don't know. I remember um, like ages ago when I when I streamed Yeek, and I, I just like played Pac-Man in the middle of the stream to take a break because I could not like I couldn't deal <laughs> I couldn't deal with it. I think it happened during like a state of play as well. Pac-Man is just like the, the good video game. No, wait. Uh, exit game. Yes. Like progress in this game. Um, I should replay Yeek at some point though. Like actually try to play it and take it seriously. Not that like, I don't know. Not that it necessarily needs to be taken seriously, but more so, like... It, uh... I'm still listening to this. Um... Like, it would be interesting to just play it. This is a completely different, like, BPM, um, oh, what's that? Oh, that's the long one. Oh, man. Uh, um, yeah, I, sh I should, I should play Yeek again at some point and actually try to play it and, like, like, genuinely critique it instead of doing it as, like, a, like a joke stream. Um, not that I'd stream it again, I don't think, but I would like to, like, articulate my thoughts on it, because it seems to just be, like, relentlessly hated, no matter what. If you could own one arcade cab physically, what would it be? Um... Uh... That's a very good question. I'm trying to think of arcade games that I like. Uh, 
Uh, wow. Why am I, why am I like, completely blanking on this? Um, I mean, like, owning, owning it physically... Hmm. I mean, Pac-Man is the easy answer. It'd probably have to be, like... Definitely something by Namco. It'd have to be, like, a Ridge Racer or something. One of the Tekken games, possibly. Oh, I'm jamming Lamy now, that is true. Owning that physically would be really cool. So I, I was thinking like arcade in like the traditional sense because I'm jamming Lamy now is like it has a lot going on uh in terms of like the controller and everything. Cause I mean like if we're counting stuff like that, then like I would love to have a DDR cap. Um just anything with like I don't know. Oh. Is there a soul below? What? They take up so much space? Well, yeah, like, that's why I was kind of thinking, like, Umjang Lamy would also take up space. Because you have the big ass controllers. But, uh. Oh, yeah, I need to stream that at some point. I, I, I keep forgetting, like, I've been able to stream it for a long time now, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Um... Because, like, I, 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 talked, oh, I talked about it in the size video, because, uh, it is, like, a huge... I was trying to decide whether to play it again or not. Um, it was kind of, like, a huge reason for why, um, the game, like, failed. At least, like, in the eyes of Sony, I, I suppose. I was just, like, explaining... I, I mean, I was just explaining the history of the game in general, but I wanted to explain, like, why it's so obscure. And there's, like, a very basic reason for it, which is that it just wasn't very successful. Like, it was just- it was pretty much just the PlayStation game, but in an arcade cabinet. When, like, stuff like DDR was way more popular already. It just wasn't working out. Damn. This is a good-ass game. Oh. Oh. I see, um, there's like a... Why am I forgetting the name? I feel really bad that I'm forgetting the name. Um, Haromi Hosono did like a remix album for Namco. And there's a song that's just this, and I kind of want to play it now, actually. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, 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 let me find this. Uh, uh, there's like an individual... Yeah, okay, the first... wait. This is Galaga, right? No, it's Xevious. I forgot the name, they're both shooting games. Whoa, loud, loud! This is gonna seem really confusing. I'm trying to, um... From what I remember... Like, it's, it's noises, and then it turns into... A song. I could I could be wrong about that though. I don't remember. This album is strange. Hmm. 
Because it's like kind of interesting because it's an album like mainly comprised of video game sounds. It goes on for like six minutes, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I promise it's getting somewhere, okay? Forty thousand being the high score is kind of crazy. I guess if you play it long enough, then yeah. You know, just doesn't seem like I'm getting much of a score. I mean, I don't know. Peak lobotomy music. I mean, I find it really interesting because it's, um, like, oh god. This is from when the game was still relatively new, like, when was this? I don't actually know. It was, like, the early, the early 80s, for sure. Like, this is like, as these games were already in arcades, so it's sort of like a novel thing to do something like this. You know, uh, I just remembered something really funny. It's, it's like only kind of semi-related to this, but um, uh, Space Invaders. Uh, my, <laughs> I, I haven't really talked about this on stream. Whoa, I haven't really talked about this on stream. Uh. But, uh, my, my history, my history tutor, um, <laughs> doesn't really know anything about, like, for, for, because I'm taking a game design course, um, and we have a history module, so there's a history tutor, and he doesn't really know anything about video games. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just because he's, um, like, he, he knows how to teach history, he doesn't know how to teach the history of games. 
you're gonna head off, that's okay. Um, he doesn't really know, like, anything about games. And he said at one point, I swear to god, that Space Invaders was made because of the Cold War. And it, it's, like, one of the most, like, insane things that I've ever heard. Because, like, what, like, huh? Like, yeah, like, okay, yeah, I'm sure people in Japan were really concerned about what Russia thought of the US. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they were. I'm really sure they were. It's just something that I think about sometimes, and it's like, man... How are people just really going out here just saying, just saying things like that? I really get it. I'm getting really distracted by this. This is a good game. Fuck. Sorry. I got distracted. I'm gonna take like a BRB. Uh, and then I'll be back with some other stuff. Uh, before I do that though, I want to see what else is in here. Just to see if I should switch uh, games or not. Switch collections. Switch discs. Uh, okay, Xavius. Sky Kid. Rolling Thunder, Rally X, Full Position, Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, Mappy, Galaxian, Galaga. Oh, they do have Tick Dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna need to play Tick Dog. Load up Sonic Mega Collection. Um, I, I don't, um, I don't have that disc on me right now. Um, oh, I'm gonna be OB. Uh, actually, let, let's, uh, while I, while I BRB, let's, let's listen to more of this, this album. Hold on. I, I just had it open, and I closed it. Hold on. I think, yeah, this is the Pac-Man one. Oh, my God. 
I'm back. Wait. Sorry. Uh, I'm I'm back. Wait, they have a level. Wait. Ah, uh, the album has level ravel, and that just reminded me that this collection doesn't have level ravel. I'm so sad about that. I w I wish this collection had has level ravel. I would I would play level ravel right now. Uh, okay. I feel like I've kind of derailed the stream by this point, but I don't know. I'm playing Dig Dog. I'll play this and then move on to the um the last thing. Those are those are those are those are crazy move. Ah. Oh no. Oh, I 
I think I see what happened. Wait. Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh no 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 no! Wait 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 wait! Okay. I... I like this game so much that I fucking bought it on the Nintendo Switch. Like, I don't even... Like, like I did it for Pac-Man as well, it's just like, having this... Just like, having it is pretty nice. I mean, like, I did that because it's not really- it's not in any collections or anything. It's not, um... Like, both of this and Pac-Man, like, they aren't on the, um, Nintendo Online things. Which is weird, because, like, they have NES ports. I don't think they would lose anything from just putting them on there. Oh gosh! You always gotta, like, speculate why Nintendo does the things that they do. Oh. There's a game in a shopping center near you, and you always loved going in there and destroying the previous high score on this. You had Dig Dog at a local arcade? Shit. Oh man. You gotta like. You gotta corner it. You gotta corner it. I got 7,000, that's pretty good. Let me do another one. Oh, it was an arcade one? I mean, that's still... It's still impressive. Like, well, I mean... I guess. It's excusable. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's... I, I don't know, like, arcade one-up is, like, kind of necessary now, because, like, I feel like... The only way to get uh, old arcade machines to work is to literally like repair them, like do work on them. Uh, so you may as well just like get something like an arcade one up cab. I don't really know what the deal is. But the music thing is really cute. I kind of forgot that this game does that. Oh no! Oh. Okay, cool. I think I'm doing worse on this round than before, but I don't know. You know, it's really interesting play, just playing old games, because I kind of had the perspective for the longest... For the longest time I had this this perspective of, like... Like, I literally cannot play old games. Like, I, I used to think that they were, like, impossible. Um... And it's just interesting because like all it really takes is just like a matter of perspective because I genuinely thought that because games are old that just automatically makes them more difficult than like new games. Um. Oh no! Oh. I wasn't thinking about that. Oh my god. I got a higher score than before. I think I'm fine. I think I'm okay. Um. God, Dick Dog is really good. I think everyone, everyone watching this right now should should play should play should play Dick Dog. I'm accidentally playing it again. I meant to like pause it. I'm gonna play it one more time. I don't even care. I've got I've got, I've, I've got the coins. I've got the pennies for this. Oh, 
I want to say quarters, but quarters isn't really, like... It's not really a, like a UK thing. Like, I don't know, I'm not gonna say that I... That, like, oh yeah, I have the quarters for this. We don't even have, like, a quarter coin, it's like 20p. I have the 20p coins for this. Uh, uh, oh, oh god, oh, oh. Oh, oh, what? 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 What is that guy doing? Okay, cool. Holy moly. Yo, um... I didn't play it, but I was I was watching a stream of someone playing it. Um, it's like a PC Dig Dug game from like I don't know, like the late nineties, the the early two thousands, late nineties, whatever. Um, called Dig Dug Deeper, and it's like it, 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 they they made Dig Dug into like a freaky little guy. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, like, they, they made him look like a real-ass, like, person. Like, they gave him, like, a like a big chin. Was that the Dick Dog MMO? I, th there was a Dick Dog MMO? It was, um... It was just, like, a CD-ROM game for Windows. Like, Windows 98. Windows, Windows XP, whatever. Uh-oh. High score is 10,000. I gotta do better than that. Ooh. Ooh. But no, like, I'm, 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 I'm just thinking of, like, this, like, level-based Dick Dog game. Or it's like, Dick Dog in the uh, 21st century. And it just, like, has Dick Dog, but he has, like, a huge chin, and he kind of looks like Buzz Lightyear. And it's not even, like, it's not even made by Namco, it's made by, like, some other, some other company. Oh god. I got a high score! Oh! Oh! Oh no! I did not get a high score! I mean, I still did, technically, but I kind of killed my momentum. Okay. Uh, this is cute. Oh my god. Go for, it said go for the world record now. Like, I'd be able to do that. Check out uh, Galaga as well because I like Galaga. I like all of these. Namco has some really solid games. Um, it's kind of just like it's crazy. Like, oh god, this is just actual music. Oh, this is just actually licensed music. Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta talk over this. Uh, everyone's watching, but no, uh, ev um, everyone's watching the stream. Um, but uh, no, actually, no one's watching the stream, uh, because that would be bad for the copyright, the, for the sake of copyright. Let me find this goddamn game so that I'm not listening to the music, oh my god. Whoa, okay. I didn't, because, like, the other game had that too, the, the, the Activision one, I think. Um... You think that song's actually in Pixels? Jesus fuck. Oh my god. Oh no. It's hard. This is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, I mean, it's the same era. Like, they're, they're calling back to the same thing. Um, 
Oh, listen, to, listen to music, listen to the thing that they have going on, it's so cute. Um, oh, oh yeah. So I haven't really actually played much of this, but I've played, played, uh, the, like, very, very similar equivalent of it in, um, the Game Center CX DS game. Because it's, like, the first game that you have to play. Um, I got really into it, and it's pretty much just this, like, I think, like, straight up it is just the same game. With, like, graphical differences. I mean, there's probably more than just graphical differences, but, like, it, like gameplay-wise, it is the same thing. Um... Uh, I mean, like, it's probably on purpose because, like, I'm pretty sure Namco published that game, but, like, I don't know, I, I got really into that, and I've definitely played more of that than, than, than this game. Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. I mean, isn't it also in, like, a bunch of other movies? It's just one of those 80s movies songs. That song plays as they fight Centipede. Seriously? I was just talking about that scene earlier. I was just thinking about that scene earlier. You know, I said that I don't remember much from that movie, but I kind of do. Sort of. I remember, like, scenes. Like, I I, I remember visuals, right? I, ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is fancy. I'm not watching it again. Do not make me watch it again. I gotta get, uh, 20,000. I gotta, I, I gotta get more than 20,000. This music is so good. You're hearing this music? Oh my god. Yeah, the, uh, the Game Sensor CX version of this has, like, an asteroid zone as the bonus stage. And so the score is, like, based on how many asteroids you hit. Um, but, like, other than that, it's, it is practically... It is practically the same game. I thought that things in the corner were lives. Those weren't lives. It calculates your stats? That's crazy. Man. Um, yeah, I don't know. Pixels, like, I, I genuinely, honestly, thinking about pixels. Oh, this is Galaga. Um, thinking about pixels is like. Uh. That, like, that movie, like, okay. So, I didn't. I haven't watched Pixels recently. I think I watched Pixels, like, when it came out. But I have seen Grown Ups 2 recently, which is like another Adam Sandler, like that, that production company or whatever. Like they, they also made that. Um, and it, it has like a really similar thing going on of just like this like wave of like a boomer nostalgia for like specifically the 1980s. And it could not get any more obvious because, like, the whole movie is like Adam Sandler being a boomer, right? Like he's just being like a like an old guy, like, ah, oh, my my kids, my kids, they suck, or, or, or whatever. And then, like, at the end of the movie, like, they have like this '80s themed birthday party or something. And it couldn't, it just couldn't be any more obvious that, like, for some reason, they were trying to like instigate this sort of like nostalgic, like, thing, this, like, trend of nostalgia for, for that decade, for, like, the pop culture of that decade. It's like, they made that movie, and then, like, shortly after, they made Pixels, and then, like, fucking, like, I don't know, like, a year later, Stranger Things happened. And it's just this, like, sudden, like, burst of, like, all these things happening. 
that it's just like, wow, wasn't the 80s so good and cool? And it's like, no, not really. Um, I mean, one of the things about it that especially gets on my nerves is that it's sort of like, uh, the mindset of like, like, video games only existed in the 1980s. Video games haven't existed since the 1980s, or something. Like, they only- they were only a thing in the 1980s. We don't count the games that came out since then. Those don't exist. Those don't count. I don't know why I'm getting, like, worse at this. Um... I think the AA's nostalgia has sort of, like, at least in, like, mainstream, like, in terms of, like, seeing a bunch of media do it. Because, like, for, for the longest time, like, it was unavoidable, right? Um, and I think now that's, that's sort of past. Um... Oh gosh, oh. Sorry, I was trying to read the chat. Um... Uh... Yeah, I, I, like... Oh my goodness, sorry. I do think that that trend has passed, but, um... It, for a long time it was very much unavoidable and it is still sort of like... We're still sort of like experiencing the fallout of that happening because like it's still very much like a thing that you see more so like i don't know like if you go into like any merch store they'll just have that stuff but no one will buy it because no one really cares um i don't know it's it's it's, it's this weird thing that happened um i do think that pixels is probably a more fun time than stranger things i remember stranger things like being fine, but sort of like not really being that that fun after a certain point. I don't know. I don't really know what the deal with Stranger Things is. You enjoy 80s nostalgia when it's not American. Yeah, that's the thing too, right? Like it's all American centric, right? That's that's the thing that mainly bugs me about it. Is that like it's this sort of like invasion of culture from the US, from the specific time period that we sort of just have to deal with because like it's mainstream and it's all over the place but like who the fuck is like like actually the target audience in the uk like it's all for americans but like we have to deal with like mainstream pop culture and like merchandise and everything being like rev like revolving around it i just like like how like are people like buying into it it's not even, like, for us. But, but we're getting it anyway, and it's like, huh? The kids are even making websites again. That's me. I'm making websites. Um. Oh, yeah, we are, we are sort of, like, veering towards, like... I don't know. I, it, definitely not, like, in the same way, because I feel like the A's thing was, like, so oversaturated. Um, while, like, the 90s and 2000s nostalgia, like, it's definitely a thing now, but it's not, like, all over the place in the same way. And I think it's just because the 80s was so, like, over-commercialized as, like, a decade for, like, American pop culture. That, like, a lot of companies could just, like, go back and be like, uh, oh, like, we had this IP that was popular in the 80s, we can just revive it now. And people will buy into it because it's nostalgic. Um, and that's not really, like, as much of a thing for, um, other decades. It doesn't really have, like, the same sort of, like, I don't know, the, the like, disgusting like, syrup of, of, of the 1980s. I don't know. I'm really, I'm, I'm not doing a good job of this. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too heated over, um, 
the AU's discourse. It's just frustrating because, like, when you say the AU's, like, it brings to mind, like, a certain, like, a vision of, like, different, like, media brands and everything. But the decade itself means a bunch of different things to a bunch of different people, and it's just this weird, like, way of commercializing an entire decade as just, like, a few things. Like, oh yeah, everyone had an Atari. Ever everyone everyone played Pac-Man in the arcade. Everyone listened to um I don't know, take on me. Challenging stage. Oh, that was pretty good. Wait, oh, okay. Um, I mean, I just, I kind of got just upset by it because it is such, like, at the time, like, having to deal with that was really just kind of like, ugh, like, ew. But, um, I'm glad that, like, we're sort of past it now. And I just hope that it doesn't happen again. Because, like, it might, but, like, yeah, it, it, the stuff that we're seeing now is very much, like, sort of personalized, in a way. Because, like, a lot of it is internet nostalgia, and internet nostalgia is, like, inherently personal. It's like, you know, like, the stuff that I'm doing with my website, um, isn't- it's not even really, like, necessarily nostalgia, it's more just, like, the aesthetic of the- the, uh, the like early like early internet early new York city sites or whatever it's also just a result of me being lazy and not really wanting to do much with my website um at least in terms of um like i don't know like i haven't really gone hard with the visuals the same way that others might like i keep it sort of simple but simple in a way that still looks old i guess I don't know, but I like, uh, like recently with my articles I've been doing like, uh, oh no, I, I have to switch to another game, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I was about to play Xevious again, wait, pole position, um, um, you think the web revival started as, started as nostalgia, which is why so much of the big new city stuff is turbocharged old web aesthetic. But younger people have recontextualized these those aesthetics into something new. That might be a um. I need to have a, a sip of a drink because my throat is kind of blown out. Um. I mean, yeah, like it is really interesting because um just new things are being done with it uh, all over the place. I haven't really browsed too many Neo City sites myself, but um, at the very least, like, what Luna is doing, uh, the, the, the Princess Luna game blog, uh, like, that's very much, like, I don't know if you would see something specifically like that at the time. That, that it's, uh, like, uh, you know, like, in the early 2000s or whatever, but it does sort of, like, use that as the format. I think it's just because, like, that's pretty much what the internet looks like, unless you're, like, explicitly trying to be minimal, minimal, minimalist. Minimal, minimalist. It's getting late. Um, like, just having assets be pixelated is the default. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. This reminds me of the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the commercial, the Atari commercial, where it's like, YOU'RE GONNA PLAY POLE POSITION! And it's like, wow, I sure I'm playing pole position. Oh. 
the massively faster connections we got now allow people to be even more maximalist than we were back when. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I have a lot of stuff just crammed into my website. Um, but I, I, I mean, I sort of, like, intentionally, like, handicap the, uh, the, the, the visuals by just sort of, um, compressing them and having them be low res. Oh, that's 300 games. Um, but like, it, like it fits, I think, but like, it's not something that I need to do, but I feel like it fits, while also like, being more interesting to look at than if I just used the images. Um, I'm trying to think though, like, I can, I can put, like, if I want to, I have like, the, uh, the increased bandwidth, the, in the increased storage, uh, on NeoCities, I could potentially, like, just put videos on my website if I wanted to. Like, I have the space to do that. Uh, and that would be really, that would be really wacky, because, like, I have YouTube embeds. But I could, I could do, like, a video, just, like, straight-up video. Just let people download the videos that I make. Like, I, I've thought about doing it. Which is not even turning right now. Oh, there we go. 109. It's not, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not that bad. I haven't actually played this before. It's, it's, I mean, I guess, like, they have to keep it simple. I suppose. Prepare to qualify. <laughs> Um, I haven't really mentioned it, but this is quieter compared to the, um, the other collections. And I haven't turned it up, and I don't really know why. I'm sorry if the game is quiet. Let's see. I'm trying to not crash. I don't want to crash. Okay. Alright, ooh, ooh. Oh, the score is based on, like, how far you go. I, for some reason I wasn't, like, looking at that. Um... I guess that makes sense. Or is it, like, speed-based? Or is it just how far you go? I'm confused by this. I mean, it's not like you can go faster. Uh... Yeah, AC is pretty good. I got the top 100. Top 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 hundred. My god. R rim? Um, um wait, where the fuck is the L? Okay. sort of like settling down now uh kind of just like sitting here and just being like what is the music gonna play again it's gonna be a different song wait what is this what is this wait um, should I, should I talk of this? I'm trying to... Th oh! Wow! This song... Uh, okay. Wait, Miss pac -Man. Uh, I like that song. I, I, I... For a while... I mean, for, for pretty much the whole, like... You know, I was talking about the fucking... The, the, the whole, like... 1980s revival or whatever. Never heard that song during any of that, but uh, like last year I watched a Todd in the Shadows video about that song, uh, and that's how I first heard it. Uh, I like Todd in the Shadows. 
and I think that song is pretty good. That's my that's my that's my Riley stance for the day. Is this is actually faster. Does it get faster? I don't I don't know what's different about this. Oh the cherries. Oh the cherries. Oh the cherry. I see. Wait, whoa! I wasn't looking at the screen for a moment. What is crazy auto? Um, did you know that this game is, um, the, the very first ROM hack? This was crazy auto? Wait, what? What do you mean this was crazy auto? I thought it was just Pac-Man. Isn't this just Pac-Man? Like, Miss Pac-Man? Like, what? Huh? I gotta, like, check my- check my history again. Check- check, check my Miss Pac-Man history, because I honestly don't remember. I thought they just, like, hacked Pac-Man and made it Miss Pac-Man, and that's what happened. They meet. Oh, I didn't know there was, like, a story. Whoa. Oh. Crazy also was made by a bunch of uni students who were sued by Atari, and then... Ooh, uh, under a settlement, they were offered funding to retool it into Miss Pac-Man. So wait, so they were sued by a company... And then that company was like, hey, you can rip off this other company's thing instead. What? <laughs> but like, wait, so is Crazy Auto just Pac-Man? Whoa, 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 oh, this is a different map layout, I think. Oh shit. This is embarrassing, I've never actually played Miss Pac-Man, I don't think. Like, I've pretty much only played the original Pac-Man. It was just an edited... Oh, it's just an... Okay, so Crazy Auto itself was also just a hack of Pac-Man. That, that makes more sense. I thought they, like, made an entirely new game and it just happened to be exactly like Pac-Man. Then, yeah, I, I know about the ad games thing. Oh. Oh. It's, it's, it's really weird, though, that, like, they, they kept the rights to Miss Pac-Man specifically. Like, how did they not... They, they just never, like, went to court over it? They never, like, settled for an agreement? Because, like, what? Should get more Pac-Man games. Should get should get like Pac-Man arrangement. The, the, the Pac-Man collection that has Pac-Man arrangement on Game Boy Advance. Oh.
Oh. Oh no. Did you know that Miss Pac-Man was actually originally called Miss Fuckman? And then they changed it because they thought it was too accurate. Did you know that it was actually originally called Puckman? Did you know that? Chad, did you know that? Did you know that originally Doki Doki Panic was called Super Mario Brothers 2? And that the, the West just couldn't handle how hard it was, so they changed it to... Uh, uh, Gee, it would look like maybe it's a little bit late for me. Um, oh my god, two jokes about the same thing in a row. Is it like two, 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 two literature club messages? Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I like I like Namco a lot. Uh, I wish this collection had Libble Rabble because I want to play Libble Rabble now. Uh. I don't, I don't have, I, I, I can't be bothered to set it up. I have Libble Rabble on the Switch. I could just, I also bought Libble Rabble on the Switch. I forgot about that. I bought Pac-Man, Dig Dug, and a Libble Rabble. Because those are the, the, the best games of all time, maybe. I really, I really like Libble Rabble. I, I, I think, wow. More, more people should should play should play Pac-Man and Dick Dog and Level and li, and, li, and Liberal and Liberal Rebel. I think those are, those are good games. Um, I don't know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, I do have one more. I do have like another another thing here. Um. Oh. I do. I do have just one more collection that I might, I might um, I might check out. I might do. Uh, hold on. Custom. Uh. Wait. Reset. Does this. Does this work? It's just one more thing. I'm just gonna check it out briefly because I had it like, in my in my set of games that I was gonna play, but I am getting kind of tired out. Sony collection. Yeah, this is actually... It was weird. I don't think Sony has ever done a collection of their games. Have they ever done that? Have they ever just, like, released a collection? Anyway, this is in television. Uh, I believe it's in, in television lives. PlayStation Classic. Oh, yeah. You called it? How did you know? Or how did you... When did you call it? You have this collection? I don't. I mean, I do. I mean, I'm playing it right now. Um, as far as I know, this is actually, like, a, a really, really good collection. Um, I just don't know about the actual games. Unreleased. Wow. Let me, let me turn this up, this is quiet. What? Is this also licensed music? What is this? It's a bit weird because the Intellivision controller was a keypad. Yeah! I was gonna say, what? So hello. Um... Um... Ah! <gasps> they have B-17 Bomber? Wait, they have B- they have B-17 Bomber. They have B-17 Bomber. The music is still playing. Um, what is this music? I- 
I was waiting for. I knew it. Holy shit, this music. The song. The, they made a song. I need to do more redneck voice impression. Twitch flagged redneck as like a slur or something. That's really funny. Um. This is this is. I'm I'm I'm. Whoa, hold on. I'm sorry. I, the music. They they made a song about how they missed the Intellivision. <laughs> this is so silly. What am I even doing? Okay. Hello? Huh? Oh? <laughs> six six o'clock. Do I do I like turn around? No. Oh. Score. I'm trying to. Whoa. I want my in television. Why does pressing the circle button to just turn off the screen? What am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? I want my. 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 Oh. Wait. Master Fire. There's a lot going on. Is there a manual? I mean, there's a control screen. Ah. I'm going to find my Hello? Oh. <laughs> They're on a quest now. Okay. Help? Okay. Am I am I bombing the UK? I miss the touch of your keypad. <laughs> Firing your missiles. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. Launching your ships. I think. Battling robots. Flying a plane. I want my television. Yeah, I want. I, no, I don't want it. Can I? Can I bomb? Can I bomb the UK yet? What's going on? Enter. Enter. My Are you... mother sold mine in the garage sale. No. It's not. Okay, I'm not entering. Pity. Did you... The, the, the line, my mother sold mine in a garage sale. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that, that they're self-aware about it. Um... Set fire bomb. Okay, wait. Set fire. Set fire. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Bayview is just nothing. Okay. Lower fire. Master fire. Wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. I, yeah, this, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't even know. Instructions. Oh, there's instructions? Okay. In the last years of World War II, the Allies prepared for the biggest invasion in history. Across the English Channel, Fortress Europe reaches the bombers met fighter planes and deadly flak. Ah, whoa. My chair. It took great teamwork and fast reflexes to complete each, each mission and get back to England. Now the computer let <laughs> now the computer lets you relive some of those heroic battles in the sky. <laughs> the computer. It <laughs> oh, pick a target then fly to it. 
Um. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Oh, what? Beat the machine's goals? I need to beat the machine's goals? I don't want to beat the machine. Ah. Uh, oh, I can view the box. Oh. It talks. Radical gameplay modes. Oh. Well, that's pretty radical. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. That's, that's, that's kind of radical. Oh, I don't know if I can deal with that. Um, I mean, to do challenges to unlock bonus content or other games. I do... I have encountered that, like, quite a bit. Um, combat and sorcery. Okay, I don't know. I want to hear this again. That is incredible. I, I, I don't know what else I can do, but like, that, that rules. Um, like what, like this? This. But not this. Just yapping. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Um, it is something that you don't really see much of. It's like, I feel like a lot of game collections are just kind of like, here are the games. Um, and there's no real, like... What? Oh. It's Vegas. Reversi. Um, there's no real, like, thing. Do they have like a bootleg version of Space Invaders? Because the, the European box has that. Wait. Kids? Oh. Oh. Here's Space. Oh? Space Spartans. Do you think it's this? Wait. Instructions. You are the elite force. Stop the first alien onslaught and a new alien force appears. Hold the aliens back as long as you can and give your home galaxy time to prepare for attack. Um. <laughs> um. Repair damaged ship systems. This is. This could be anything. Oh my god, this could be anything. I'm not getting any, like, information from that. A few box. This could be. This could be anything. This could be anything. Oh my god. Okay, let's play it. <laughs> Sweet, Spartans. Um, okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, select. Okay. Oh, wow, this was not what I was expecting. So many voices. So many noises. I don't know. Is there not, like... Let me just, like, go through all of these. The background music is pretty chill. Hello. 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 Oh! Oh, okay, this is something that I can understand. 
This is something my, my ape brain can visualize because it's right in front of me. Okay, I'm letting a lot of these fall. Um, this is actually really responsive. It compares to some of the other stuff that I've played tonight. This is like really. does look pretty nice. It's very, like, easy to, easy to read, easy to see what's happening. As, like, you know, it's like an action game. It works really, really well. Um, now it's blue. I mean, it still works, but, like, why is it blue now? It's like actually really striking because it's just like the, the light from the TV, not the TV, the monitor that I'm using uh, for this. It's like lighting up my room, so when it goes black, it's just like suddenly like. Ugh. I'm getting really into this. You just play this for ages. Oh. Did I say that it goes black? It goes red. Gosh. You know, I thought I was gonna wrap this up, but this is actually really good. Is there is there a space invaders thing though? Hold on. Armada. It could be any of these. Space Armada. Game or practice? Um. Um. Uh. G game. Okay. Enter. Oh, this is Space Invaders! Ooh. Oh. Oh. How do I? Okay, enter. Okay. Oh, oh, it's really slow, really shitty space invaders. Oh my god. to the bottom. Wow, that finishes really fast. Why do I have to do this for this? Game. Enter. Whoa, the music. The noises are really, like, Unique. Uh, which is like compared to like, I don't know, like the sort of like the 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 the, the tones. Oh god. Oh. Really have to act fast with this. 
has its own version of Space Invaders. This is really interesting. Uh, oh, I wish you could just you could just press a button. I don't understand why you can't just press a button. This just makes me want to play Space Invaders now, though. Like, I just kind of want to play Space Invaders now. God, imagine, like, designing this and just being like, yeah, we're gonna make it impossible. It's not impossible, but it's, like, difficult, right? Like, I don't, I don't really understand why it's like this. Oh, no. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna end it there because I'm kind of, like, slowly, like, being mentally drained, um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, shark, shark, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, like, goop of the brain, uh, it's like 1am, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here, but I've had a good time, there's been some real weird ones, uh, in here. But it's, it's been nice. Hopefully I'll get out of the 4x3 zone for the next stream.